Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to implement credit card fraud detection project using different machine learning techniques. The main aim of this project is to predict the fraudulent credit card transactions using different machine learning models. The credit card fraud detection is crucial from both the banks as well as the customer's perspective. The banks cannot afford to lose their customers' money to the fraudsters. Every fraud is a loss to the bank as the bank is responsible for fraudulent transactions. To implement the credit card fraud detection technique using machine learning, I will be using the dataset which contains the transactions made over a period of two days in September 2013 by European credit card holders. The dataset contains 492 fraudulent transactions out of 2,84,807 transactions. The dataset is highly imbalanced as it contains only 0.172% of positive class that is the fraudulent transactions. Because the data set is highly imbalanced, we need to build a machine learning model which can accommodate uh, the imbalanced data set uh, and uh, you will get the better accuracy in this case. The following steps are followed to implement the credit card fraud detection technique. First, we need to read the data set, understand the data set and then we need to visualize the data set properly. Next, we need to prepare the data for modeling and then we need to build the model here. Once you build the model, we need to evaluate the model. Uh, with, so that we can check whether the model is working fine or not here. In this case, I'll be using uh, five different uh, machine learning algorithms. It is uh, logistic regression, chain nearest neighbors, decision tree, random forest, as well as the exit boost algorithm. Finally, I will compare which particular algorithm is working uh, fine on the given data set here. As said earlier, the data set is uh, imbalanced data set. So we need to convert the data set uh, in the form of a balanced one. For that reason, we can use undersampling or oversampling techniques. So what I will be doing in this case is, uh, I will do random oversampling and then random undersampling first. And then uh, I'll be using uh, two different undersampling techniques that is known as uh, Tomac links and uh, cluster centroid undersampling technique. Next, I'll be using something known as a smart oversampling technique as well as smart plus Tomac links uh, for converting the imbalanced data set into balanced data set. Next, I will run all the five algorithms on this uh, balanced data set and then I will compare the results at the uh, final stage here. You can download the complete source code of the credit card fraud detection technique using machine learning by following uh, this link. I will place this link in the description below so that you can easily download the project. Once you download the project, you will get uh, different uh, files as well as the folders. You will get one notebook which contains uh, the complete uh, source code of the project. You will get the data set in the form of CSV. You will get the complete uh, report in the form of Word as well as the PDF. There will be one file called as README. The README file contains the complete instructions to install the necessary softwares as well as the libraries. Also, it contains the different uh, steps to be followed to execute the project. To execute this particular project uh, in uh, local machine, uh, you need to open uh, the Jupyter Notebook. So you can open the Anaconda prompt and then you can type this command that is uh, Jupyter Notebook. You will be able to get the Jupyter Notebook in uh, the default uh, browser here. You can notice there are different uh, files are there. The one uh, file contains the collab version, another file contains the local machine version. Uh, if you want to execute the same project on Google Collab, you can use this version. You can upload this uh, Python notebook and then you can execute it. If you want to run it on local machine, you can open this uh, IPython notebook here. Once you open it, uh, you will be able to see the project uh, source code, something like this. First, I have uh, imported all the necessary libraries here. Later, uh, we need to read the dataset with the help of uh, read underscore CSV. The dataset will be available in dataset uh, variable. Later, I have divided this data set into two classes. Uh, one is called as a fraud and another one is called as normal based on the class value. And then I have uh, displayed the fraudulent as well as the normal distribution on the graph here. From the graph, you can notice here, there are very few uh, fraudulent transactions are there compared to the normal transactions. So that's the reason this is called as the imbalanced data set here. Next, uh, we need to divide the data set into training and testing with the help of uh, train test split here. You will get uh, X train, Y train and X test, Y test for training and testing 
the different machine learning models here. As said earlier, I will be uh, building uh, five different models. That is the first one is the logistic regression model. Once I execute the logistic regression model on the given imbalanced data set, you can notice here I am getting 79% of accuracy here. With the help of uh, KNN model, I am getting 57% uh, accuracy. With the help of decision tree model, I am getting 84.4% of accuracy. Random forest algorithm is giving us 61% uh, accuracy. And XGBoost algorithm is giving 88% of accuracy on a normal data set, that is the imbalanced data set. As discussed earlier, uh, now I will be converting the imbalanced data set into balanced data set uh, using different uh, techniques like uh, random oversampling, random undersampling. Tomac undersampling, cluster centroid undersampling, smart oversampling, and finally smart plus uh, Tomac links in this case. Now, once you convert uh, the imbalanced data set into balanced data set, again I will be executing all the five models. The first one is the logistic regression model. You can notice here for each of the balanced data set, I am getting different accuracies here. For smart plus TL, I am getting 81% accuracy compared to normal uh, uh, data that is 79% accuracy here. So, uh, balanced data set is giving better accuracy compared to the normal or the imbalanced data set here. Similarly, I will be executing the different algorithm that is KNN. KNN is giving us 85% of accuracy on cluster centroid sample data. Decision tree is giving us 87.5% of accuracy on SMART as well as SMART plus Tomac link balanced data here. Random forest is giving us 94% of accuracy. And Exiboost is giving 98% of accuracy on the balanced data here. So, what it shows is uh, the balanced data is giving us better accuracy with respect to imbalanced data. That's the first thing. The second thing is uh, compared to five algorithms that is uh, uh, the logistic regression, decision tree, K nearest neighbor algorithm, random forest, and Exiboost. Exiboost is performing better against all other uh, algorithms in this case. So, the final conclusion is. Uh, uh, whenever we have an imbalanced data set, first we need to convert the imbalanced data set into balanced data set. That's the first and foremost requirement. Uh, for the given credit card fraud detection technique, uh, we are getting better results with the help of Exiboost algorithm in this case. I hope uh, uh, you understood how can we implement the credit card fraud detection using the different uh, machine learning techniques here. I have given the link for the complete source code in the description below. Follow the link to download the source code as well as the different documentations like uh, data set, the report and so on. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.